the first theater to use electric lights opens, the first automatic parking garage opens, and the mother of all demos is given. It all happened this week in tech history. This week in 1882, the Bijou Theater opened in Boston, Massachusetts and became the first theater to be lighted by electricity, which Thomas Edison himself installed and supervised. In 1951 this week, the first push-button controlled garage opened in Washington, D.C. A single attendant without entering a car could automatically park or return an auto to or from the park mat in less than a minute. In 1958 this week, phone calls without the need for an operator were inaugurated in the United Kingdom by Queen Elizabeth II when she spoke to the Lord Provost in a call from Bristol to Edinburgh. In 1960 this week, Sperry Rand Corporation of St. Paul, Minnesota unveiled a new computer known as Univac 1107. The electronic wizard employed what was known as thin film memory. This massive computer tipped the scales at about 5,200 pounds. This week in 1967, the French prototype Concorde No. 1 was rolled out in Toulouse, France. The joint British-French venture and the world's first supersonic airliner took two more years of testing and fine-tuning the powerful engines before it made its maiden flight. And this week in 1968, Douglas Engelbart gave what became known as the mother of all demos, publicly debuting the computer mouse, hypertext, and the bitmapped graphical user interface. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas from everyone at Into Tomorrow. Dave wanted me to leave these extra prizes for when you call in and participate on the show. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Be sure to check us out online at intotomorrow.com. You can find out how to listen to our weekly Into Tomorrow radio program and subscribe to our free podcasts. Catch you next time on This Week in Tech History. Thank you.